Radio hobbyists like these guys could potentially save our lives in the event of a nuclear attack or any disaster, really. It turns out there's a lot of them in Hawaii, and we went to spend some time with them. And then this happened. A missile may impact on land or sea within minutes. If you are outdoors, seek immediate shelter in a building. If you are driving, pull safely to the side of the road and seek shelter in a building. Are you guys there? This is not a drill. There was a false alarm, nuclear missile. It's insane. Just go turn on the TV, bye. Joining us now, MSNBC correspondent Jacob Sobroff. He is at Waikiki Beach. I have to tell you, David, we have been here the last couple of days shooting a story. The sirens did not go off, but it does sound like those push alerts came through to many people's phones. And the story we're actually doing here for NBC Left Field is in the case of an electromagnetic pulse from a blast, 90% mm. of people may be without communication and ham radio is actually one of the ways that you'll be able to hear what's happening. Because, again, I was in that room yesterday, inside a bunker, inside the Diamond Head Crater, here on... Yeah, we were in Hawaii during that false alarm. So if this, or any big emergency, actually happens, where our cell phones don't work, the internet goes down, and all else fails, these guys are the communication link. And they assist a lot of major groups. Like Hawaii's Department of Emergency Management, which isn't just preparing for natural disasters anymore. We plan all hazards. After the false alarm, Miyagi resigned, but his message remains. Now this North Korea missile thing is unlikely, but it's an elephant in the room. We can't ignore it. It all goes down in here? It all goes down in here. It's only 20 minutes from the time of launch to impact. So, God forbid the call ever came in that a nuclear missile is heading this way. It's going to come through this one right here? Yes. Holy mackerel. Yeah. What deja vu, man. For those of us who grew up in the Cold War. We have about a minute or two to authenticate it and make a decision to activate the statewide siren system. Hawaii's been testing this since late last year, and it was last used during the Cold War. The models show maybe 10%, 20% casualties. What about the other 80%? Smartphones and iPads and all that. We have to accept the fact that these might not be working after a disaster. Shadow? Yeah, I, I can see. Thank you. Okay. Ham radio's capability doing an emergency is critical. For anybody listening, this is a 60 demonstrating amateur radio. And the ultimate irony is it's the technology that's probably been around the longest. That's it. Okay, thank you very much for the signal report. A86 QO clear. Amateur radio works because it's radio to radio, no middleman. Modern day technology is extremely complex and it has points of failure. If the cell phone tower goes down, or just the power goes off, there's no cell phone. All I need is a radio, a power source, transmission line up to the antenna, and I'm on the air. While this seems like a kind of antiquated, maybe nerdy thing to do, this is the foundation from which today's communication systems stem. So your cell phone, it's actually got a lot of radios in it. You just can't control them. But the thing is, with these, you can. What we have are what we call directional antennas. So we have a wire right over your head here. From exactly. Olamana Gardens, you're going to hit Chicago, New York, yeah, Los every Angeles. Night. Every Last night we were talking to London. Without satellite dishes or... Nothing. Nothing, nothing but a piece of wire. Come on, i got to show you this. Glenn, show me your hat. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tell me yeah. if we got the right material here. Oh, there you go. So in the event of an earthquake in Los right, Angeles, right. NBC News supplies us with these radios. You Frequency. take this and we plug it into my computer. Yeah. We program all of our local repeaters. You hit my repeater, you can call California, you can call anywhere in the world. Over a century ago, while radio itself was emerging as a commercial form of communication, ham or amateur radio was emerging as a hobby. Aloha, Hawaii 6, Victor Foxtrot. Amateur comes from AMA, for the love of. We do it for love. We don't get paid anything by anybody. It is total public service. Being a ham operator, you're joining this new extended family. But the FCC licenses us and we have rules. It's not a rubber ducky, you no know, motor caravan kind of thing. Interest over the decades hasn't waned. But here's the key. Of all these hams, there's a sector that is especially devoted to emergency communications. It's called MCOM. 
one minute you can be Clark Kent, so to speak, talking to somebody around the other side of the world, then bang, when there's a disaster, you switch to MCOM mode. There's a whole room at the Department of Emergency Management for the HAMS. Who form our Emergency Reserve Corps in an emergency. Hawaii Emergency Management, HXCR, you want. Carter is a trainer for FEMA. Ron is a coordinator for our state races in Clem, is a former HIEMA employee as well as a uh, as an amateur, a lead amateur. Jacob, nice to meet you. Every morning and every afternoon, they practice talking to each other. What we're really practicing for is society collapsing. That's a sick feeling to be disconnected. Are you worried about an attack from North Korea? Oh, yeah, yeah. So I got myself a 20-foot masking container. I can run and jump in and slam the doors on it. We're a curious lot, not only being strange and called geeks, etc., and we understand that. You know, when I'm out with my wife, I try not to wear too many radios on my belt. Otherwise, she doesn't want to walk with me. You get a whole bunch of guys from around the world talking on the same frequency. Yeah, I thought it was Russian, but it's not. It's Ukrainian. Chatting amongst themselves. Hello, CQ. Uh, anyone copy? Over. It doesn't get much better than that. That's the thrill of it. It's the original social media. Uh, take care, mate. Uh, good on you in uh, 73. Uh, roger that, Frank. Thank you very much. We hope to talk to you again later. Uh, 73 is aloha from Hawaii on the north shore with the pounding surf down below. QRZ, anybody else? You know, you got to think, you're a retired person. I'm a retired merchant marine captain. You're 68 years old, living in a farm out in Hawaii. You kind of get disconnected. And this way, keeps you in touch. It's a great family out there. The emergency radio thing gives it great purpose. The radio guy on Titanic tapping out as the ship was going down, still tapping. One little voice can be important. You can help save the world. Watch more left field stories, including this video on how Japan prepares for a missile attack.